Hi, this is Brian Pash, and I have a message for automotive industry professionals. That includes all of the leaders at automotive retail, those in manufacturing, and those in the technology community. I've been following the development of what we have been calling digital retailing tools over the last few years, and in recent months, many manufacturers are moving forward with an OEM provided and mandated digital retailing tool. We've seen recent developments from Cadillac, Nissan, Stellantis, and others who are recommending that dealers cancel all of their existing digital retailing tools that would be on their website in favor of an OEM supplied digital retailing tool. Other manufacturers have an open policy where dealers can choose different tools as long as those tools are brand compliant in their look and feel. But I want to talk about the bigger picture or the long play and the concerns that I have. It is clear that in other franchise models, the franchise owners have pretty deep control and insights into the retail data that's happening each day. McDonald's, for example, can know exactly how many burgers are being ordered by the minute. Each day they can close out their books, they understand supply constraints, they understand inventory management because all of the McDonald's franchisees are using the same retail platform. Not so much in automotive retail. You see manufacturers for years have stayed out of the software business and earlier attempts have, well, been a history of failure. And they have allowed some of the larger companies like CDK or Cox Automotive or others to build products to serve the auto industry. And some of the companies that are the largest have been over the years just acquirers of new technology and that has created an amazing ecosystem for innovation. But at the same time, we all know whether you're looking at CDK, Reynolds or Cox or some of the mid-tier players, sometimes these acquisitions are painfully slow when it comes to data integration, single sign-in, and even though there's been tremendous attempts made at, well, streamlining the automotive retailing platform, most dealers today have a patchwork quilt of 10 plus different software packages, maybe even some dealers 20 plus software packages, which makes it impossible for an OEM to get any insights into their sales channel, customer needs and wants. And of course, dealers for years have said, well, that's none of the OEM's business. You just make vehicles and we'll sell them. But it's absolutely clear to me as more OEMs are introducing digital retailing platforms that this is just the start of building a unified retail operating system from tier one, tier two, tier three, starting with the pricing and ordering of vehicles, moving towards customer communication platforms, and then moving to a complete end-to-end -end retailing platform. To the OEMs, this would give them complete visibility into the customer journey, demand, inventory supplies and levels. Uh, to the dealers, of course, this is a concern because the question is who owns the customer and who owns all that data has been a common fight. Recently, I saw a demonstration of an OEM built digital retailing platform, which was extremely innovative and included real time connected car data. Not only did this digital retailing software know all the cars on the ground, but it would know uh, how many gallons of fuel were in the car, how many miles were on the car, and where the car was located. And this is just the beginning with the connected car data. You see, the OEMs are not blind to the fact that with the connected car data, service marketing, service retention, and brand well, protection will all be possible with a single retail operating system. Now, of course, this is great news for the hundreds of companies that have made their living off of this patchwork quilt. 
Companies like Techion, who are coming into the market with a clean slate, are trying to build this retail operating platform so OEMs and dealers can work off a single data set with a single source of truth with very little need for integration partners. Now, even though the idea of a single vendor solution from tip to tip of the retail chain, well, no one has demonstrated the ability to do that uh, with complete confidence of both the OEM and the dealer community. I bring this up because right now, when the OEMs are mandating or cleverly mandating the move to a single digital retailing platform that they control, dealers are afraid to speak up. We're in a very unique time where inventory levels are uh, scarce and manufacturers are using basically their muscle at this time to draw more dealers into compliance. For Cadillac, if you don't sign up for their uh, digital uh, retailing platform, you cannot qualify for a certain dealer status level which has uh, money associated with it. We've heard stories from other OEMs where negotiation of higher inventory allocation would go along with a dealer group pushing in and using the digital retailing platform. Now I understand it makes absolutely complete sense for an OEM to look at other franchise models and say, wow, everyone's using the same software, um, the franchisees uh, cooperate with the retail selling model, everyone has a clear snapshot of what's happening uh, across the country. There's so many third party players and people that are doing data management that is only existing because there's so many different platforms on the market. I see the future where a single retailing platform could streamline data, manufacturing, service, and brand uh, loyalty. We're far away from that today, but the early signs show that this is the preferred path for many OEMs. And the reason why I bring this up is we have to be prepared for this. We have to have better discussions about this. In opposition to a mandated single retailing platform, you know, dealers have asked for open APIs, creating a data lake of OEM information that would allow multiple vendors to present to the consumer and the dealer uh, the same source of truth but just using different technology. Large dealer groups have built their own data warehouses, their own reporting systems. And imagine an AutoNation, a Lithia, an Asbury, a Group One with 20 plus different brands under their portfolio with 20 different digital retailing platforms. You can imagine the data nightmare that's going to be. But I don't think the OEMs care about dealer groups. They think about their franchise, the franchisees, and the franchise model. So unless dealers work more collaboratively together to propose an alternative standard to a one-to-one -one mandated platform, I don't see uh, much hope for a very diverse, robust, and competitive software infrastructure. I see a few players developing relationships with OEMs and selling them on the idea of a single retail platform, which will mean the displacement, potentially, of dozens or hundreds of different companies and thousands of people who feed off this broken patchwork quilt we call automotive retail technology. These conversations are important to be uh, had at the dealer council meetings at OEMs. The platform of choice by the OEM, of course, I understand their future vision is somewhat like other franchisees, but we're not selling hamburgers and the car transactions are not as simple as selling furniture or other chains uh, in a franchise model. So what's the future look like? No one knows, but if the vendor community doesn't work together to create open standards. 
maybe it's time that the OEMs realized, hey, no one's gonna work together, no one's gonna collaborate, so why even hope, pray, or even meet about it? Let's just build something from the ground up with state-of-the-art tools and a cloud infrastructure that's scalable, using technology that's already proven and tested, but adapted for automotive. That's what it looks like, that the OEMs are just tired of the thousands of companies that are in the patchwork quilt, all sharing data, all having a piece of the pie, and at the end of the day, it makes it difficult for the OEM to make decisions. I believe there's an alternative, and that alternative will need to be really worked out. So I'm calling on the automotive vendor community to take notice. If we continue to put up these fake walls and limit data access and only give API access to certain people and not to another, you may just force your own company out of the automotive business. So if you're interested in talking about what a new future could look like, love to coordinate that at an upcoming uh, conference. We have our Digital Marketing Strategies Conference in May in the Napa Valley. We also have the Modern Retailing Conference in Florida in November. Somehow the vendor community has to be uh, rethinking what the future looks like. As it looks like now, we're just setting ourselves up for complete disruption by companies who come in and don't have legacy code that promise the OEMs the promised land of software. How long it takes to get there, I don't know. But along the way, it looks like more mandates and more mandates and more mandates that will start to squeeze out competitive tools to create a unified retail operating system for the OEMs. Do you agree? Do OEMs have the, well, resilience, the patience, and the determination to build their own retail operating system? History would say no, but could new market forces, new technology, new, well, programming infrastructure tools, could it make it easier for this to become a reality? I'd love to get your comments below.